Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to use controllers and input port triangle and controllers output. So let's look at uh, this is our power distribution box. Uh, this is server that have 16 channel output and 8 channel input. But maybe there, there are not enough output and input parts for your house to use. So last video we have created uh, this A16 board for extending the GPIO output and the digital input. So this have 16 channel output and 16 channel input. So the totally you will have the 16 channel and the 16 channel is 32 channel digital output. And the input is 8 channel and the, add the 16 channel you will totally have 24 channel of digital input. So actually you have many digital output and many digital input uh, for you to use. And I think you will think uh, this input uh, triangle this output and this input uh, triangle this output. There is no problem. But if you have already in integrated with the two board uh, to the home assistant, so you can use any input uh, triangle any output output such as you can use this input uh, triangle this output or use this input triangle this output or use this service input uh, country this output or use service input uh, triangle this output so they are very flexible so you can use any input triangle any output so let's look at uh, how to set in home assistant here you can see we will have create two automation for this example this one is a16 channel input one triangle a16 channel a16 board output one and this is a16 board input one triangle servers board output three so we can create this two automation you can see we can go to Home assistant and go to configuration and go to the automation and you can see i have created this automation that is a16 input one triangle a16 output one so we can click edit you can see here is a state just a triangle type is state entity is a16 input one when a16 input one is on just means triangled that action will call service and switch talking uh, which switch talking let's just choose this output one for a16 you can see I can shut for this channel one. Uh, that is triggered on, and I shut again. That is off. So this automation I have created uh, this input one, uh, triggered this output one. Now we can create another information, another automation. So you can change. Uh, just click cancel, delete this one, a sixteen output one. So you can choose entities, just choose output one. This output one is for this server board. So I choose this one and I can press this save. And now I can triangle this input one again. You can see I can triangle this one. Now uh, this is triggered. So this is off. I can change it to output 3 so that you can see this this relay that have LED will be easy to understand so I can also choose the entities for output 3 and press C and then now you can see I can check again uh, this 3 channel 3 is triggered and shut again this is off so this time I have used this input and triangle this server board's output. Okay, now let's look at uh, this is just the second. Uh, this is triangle the output three. That first is triangle for output one. So if you want to use this server board's input, uh, triangle this output, you just change this entity. So that will be input input 1 and uh, triangle this output is output 1 of 16 bar so you can choose entities that is for a16 output 1 so I can press save and we go to overview 
I will just let this input and triangle this output. So you can see I can triangle this input. Here is triangle. And the triangle again. You can see here is off. Because I have created the automation, uh, that's uh, another channel is, is will be changed. So you can check again. Okay, now you can see here is how to use the input and the triangle different output. You can also use the input and the triangle to control the LED strip different color and the different brightness. Okay, thanks for watching.